Hi folks, this is going to be the first of a series of videos uh, de uh, demonstrating our product using our new demonstration kit. Uh, th this kit is a hardware in the loop simulator for a crane. So we have a crane which we've implemented on that screen there. And it is generating real load and, and rope angle signals and, and, and limits and travel and stuff as well. And we're controlling it with a real remote control. Three, two, one. In this video, I want to demonstrate some features of the uh, lift log the world's best-selling aftermarket data logging system. So I'm going to start, I'm going to turn on the radio remote. I'm going to start the crane. And you can see we're going to go, we can move the hook down. We'll come over and... Right, let's pick up that, uh, that 12 tonne. Go down. And you can see the load on the, on the lift log is now showing 12 ton. And as I move the load around, you can see that the, uh, those moves are recorded and displayed on the front of the, of the screen of the lift log. And we can move that around. Data logging system. You'll also note that as I do this, you can see here that we have our uh, wireless load display, which is also powered up and it's connecting to the lift log and it's getting its load from that lift log. So as I pick that load up, the load increases, come off the hook, and it drops to zero again. And I'll pick up the, uh, the 12 ton. Um, this is a great, this is demonstrating our HoistNet features where uh, HoistNet is a networking uh, protocol for, uh, uh, for cranes that uses wireless signals to move data around on a crane and it means that you don't have to run long cables and it makes installing things like load displays very, very easy. Anyway, let's go and take a look and see what sort of data that we generated uh, with that, uh, with this exercise and you can start again. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the data that this little exercise generated and I can show you a bit about what we do with that data. So here we're looking at the uh, reporting system which is web delivered that we offer uh, for all of our products um, or any data that is generated by our products can be streamed either in real time or or in batch mode from your laptop uh, back to the, uh, the web and, uh, and, and we'll come back to you with charts and graphs and rep reports using this system. So this is the, uh, the login for the Crane of the Future demonstrator, which is what we call our demonstration kit. Um, and you can see here we've got a, a Crane of the Future crane. So, so if we click on that. Now we're going to focus today on the, on the data generated by the lift log system, but, but I'll mention briefly some of the other stuff. So first of all, here in all its glory are the load signals that Are generated by the demonstration system. You see these five ton and these twelve ton loads, and uh, you see the directions that we the, that were pushed. So we see the date and time, the hook, the amount that was on the hook, the duration of the button push, which direction it was pushed, and if we had our access pack system installed, you would see the name of the person who pushed the button there as well. That's the raw data that you get that comes in. A note down the bottom here. There is an export to Excel button. Um, wherever you see that, you can get a, uh, a dump of the raw data, so you can do with it whatever you like. The data is yours, we don't own it. We are just, um, uh, we are just the custodians of it and, and we use it to improve the product and to give you more information about how your crane's being used. Uh, see our data usage policy for more information on that. That's on the web page. Right, so we've got all this boring data. We do things like calculate the load spectrum of the crane. Um, if you know about calculating remaining safe working period of cranes then you'll know all about load spectrums. Um, uh, this is your KMI uh, 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 values and you can see because we've only got two loads on that simulator it lifts about 10% of uh, it, it lifts either a light amount of load or, 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 a, or a medium amount of, mode, uh, of load all the time. Uh, we use that to calculate remaining life. Um, and I've 
we only, as you can imagine, we only do a little bit of work with that, that crane simulator. So I've, I've, I've accelerated the, the growth, uh, accelerated the wear rate. So we've got something to show you. You can see that this was a, a lightly used crane to start with. Um, and, uh, and and we've consumed a fair bit of its life in the month that I've been doing these demonstrations with it. We monitor both the, uh, the hoist hours and the structure cycles. Uh, here, we give you the number of starts and, and, and actuations of each motion. And this is useful if you're trying to uh, figure out why a, a contact is wearing out quick or, or, or to know when to change a contact or to do, um, to do um, uh, 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 preventative maintenance on them. Uh, and we also give you the real time hours. Um, this is not scaled according to uh, load spectrum. This is real operating hours of each of those motions. Um, so you can get a feel for how long the motors have run and things like that. Okay. In addition, we have here, we can go into more details on remaining life. We can, uh, um, <laughs> okay, clearly I've got some goofy data in, in, in there from our development purposes, but this will give you the, the percentage remaining life of the, uh, of the hoist of the structure. And it shows you month by month how many hours uh, it's used up. And I suspect that's because in here I've been, uh, I've been playing around implementing some new standards. So you can assess the remaining life according to AS2550. Uh, uh, a couple of um, American standards, the ISO and, uh, and, and FEM standards as well. Oh, and, and, and a DIN standard. Uh, and if you've got a different way of calculating uh, remaining life, we can plug that in. Um, or if you want to change the way you calculate remaining life, we can we can make a change and the, and the whole because we store all of the data, we can recalculate the remaining life from scratch. Uh, it also means that um, you can audit the remaining life uh, of the system. So you can take the raw data and calculate the numbers yourself, and you can verify that the numbers that this system gives you are in fact correct. And this is the only remaining life system. Uh, available that actually allows you to do that, that gives you the raw data so that you can prove that it's accurate. Here we see a number of the alerts that are configurable and some of these are dependent on which products you've got uh, on the system but we can send we can send to uh, um, we can also send to uh, mobile numbers put a mobile number in there then it'll send a text uh, and this is this is for when you have overloads for cranes or when you've got uh, you can also set it up for side pull events uh, or, or shock loads and, and a whole bunch of other things so, so that you know when your cranes being used inappropriately because what we've learned from 14 years of doing this is cranes don't break people break them and so we need to tell you when people are doing those behaviors that will cause your crane to fail early and that's what this system does okay uh, and then we, of course we, we, we extract as much data out of the uh, uh, information out of the data as we can and so you'll see moves by month so this is a pretty good way to see uh, how busy you were and and, uh, and look at the usage patterns of the cranes uh, this one's quite useful this shows you whether or not people are inching the crane too much or whether they're, they're mostly doing long moves this is this is a, a really useful graph if you're finding yourself going through brake linings um, uh, or, or contactors a, a lot um, and we can tell if everybody gets busy at the end of the week. Uh, here, here oh, I was obviously doing a, a, fair, a fair bit of demonstration on a, on a Saturday, but uh, it's not unusual to see to see patterns here which don't reflect what you understand your workflow to be in your organisation. We've had a couple of customers who looked at this and then have gone and stood outside and watched what's going on, and and it's been a, a, a catalyst for them to sort of gain a new understanding of how their business is actually operating. Um, we have a load versus time plot. Here and I think I'll have some data if I go back to say around here. There you go. We can see actual load lifted by time of day, and that gives you a sort of minute by minute breakdown of what the crane was uh, was doing, and you can zoom in on that and, and so on and so forth. Uh, close that off. Uh, we'll come back to this. We've got. Operator hours. If you've got our access control system, you can see who's got who, who's got how many hours on on, on the unit. Um, uh, we have total cumulative hours. Now, the sharing and cumulative hours are really more for other types of um, other types of uh, equipment. <coughs> and sharing allows you to divide the cost of it of an asset up by uh, department. 
So you can, and again, this, these are features of Access Pack. And so look, that, that's that's pretty much it for the lift log side of things. There's a, a whole bunch of other features, obviously, that are, that are part of the system, and some of that uh, depends on on other hardware of ours that you've got installed. And, and certainly, we'll cover we'll cover off on some of those in uh, in later videos. Cheers.